here's uh, Kathy. Hello. <laughs> Kathy. And you found the book while uh, standing in line to get... To pay a traffic ticket of all things. <laughs> this was... 1978 in California, Los Angeles area. Somebody who has not yet heard about the Ranch Book, what can you tell anyone? Well, for someone who is really seeking for truth, who has a deep desire to get closer to the Father, to know the Father, to know your place in this universe, to know what the universe is, to know the, the life of Jesus Christ and to how he lived it here, how he laid the, um, the pattern for us to live, to find true happiness, and to know the Father. That's what the book means to me. That's what it has, um, has guided my life since 1978. It's just been, actually it's been a realization of the fullness of the things that I had learned before. It, um, it fortified my, my belief in God as I knew it before I met him. Uh, I'd never heard of the book, but it, in, it embraced all the truths that I learned and uh, just gave me peace and understanding. So I can say to anyone who is, who has an open mind, who's not afraid to, to, break, the, uh, to break the past and, and some of these old beliefs that we have clung to that are no longer valid. But you never take anything that's true away. Anything that's true, true, but stand the test of time. So don't be afraid to explore new territory because you'll find that your mind will expand. Your soul can grow. The personality will always be the same and, and the personality that God gave you at birth will always be the same. But your soul grows. And these are the things, the vital things that you're learning now that you will take with you and the, the, uh, the soul will last forever. In the Rancher book, what does it say about uh, death? Uh, there is no death of the soul. There is a death of the, uh, the material body which was created here out of the substances that were made in the earth and the world to begin with. These, these are just our uh, earthly tabernacles that we live in that uh, allows us to to live our lives and to, to gain knowledge and to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes and to go into a higher, uh, we're a step above the animals. The animals do not have wisdom and worship. Um, we are uh, progressing all the time and these bodies, will be, we won't need them anymore once we become spiritualized. What kind of bodies are we gonna have, if at all, after we die? Well, we'll have a different type of body at different levels. We'll, we'll be um, um, re-keyed at each level of our progression. And we learn forever and ever. And we're learning lessons here now that we will take with us. And we learn until finally we stand in the presence of God. It may be eons of time before we get there, but we will get there. If we have a desire. What is the future of uh, our world? Uh, with the, the world that we live here now, in, in time, we will come into the age of light and light. When there will be no war, there will be no hunger, there will be no um, uh, unhappiness. There will be, we'll be uh, guided by love. And love is the greatest thing. Thank you, Kathy.